I didn't say anything about Michael Pittman Jr., but he by far was the best receiver all day and has been all season. He is, without a doubt, the best receiver we got. But on to the video. So, just got off work. I had to uh, get on here and explain, or at least vent, on the Colts. Um, explaining, that's going to be a hard, be a hard no. Because I am mm, that close to just writing them off. It's almost like a suck for, wait a minute, no. Can't suck for luck. Matter of fact, I don't think there was even a quarterback coming in from college to pro in the NFL that's going to be worth, you know, building on. So, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I personally think we have the players, and we might be short a good couple of receivers, but we got enough tight ends to replace them. I think. I personally think it is a play calling. I, I that's where that's where I'm I'm pointing the finger, the play calling. Maybe it's about time we move on. I don't know, but we'll tell you this much. Fumbles and a re, uh, interception here or there is understandable. The wise perfect, but fumbles, interceptions. And a special team for the opposite team causing turnovers, and we're not counter-reacting on the turnovers, not this game anyways. So we had three turnovers, they had none. They come to our house, and they pushed us around the entire first half. Defense shows up in the second half. Defense shows up in the second half. Not offense. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We were moving the ball. But where the, where the hell is the holes that's being made for, for Jonathan Taylor? There was no holes being made for Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor had nowhere to go. He was getting hit behind the line. This is not his fault. Not at all. He's forcing runs to go up the middle because he's pushing. I love Jonathan Taylor. One of the, the best back in the NFL, in my opinion. But he is not a power back. He is not a built guy to push the defensive line back. Where in the hell is our defense or our offensive line? Where is it? Same offensive line we had last year. Who's making the fucking calls? Who's making calling out the plays? Who's getting the stunts called in? I mean, where the fuck is our offensive line? I don't understand it. It's the most irritating thing to see is your team that should be good, that looks good. Hell, the rookie wide receiver is improving at such a rate. I believe he's number two on our on our offensive on our offense right now and for as far as Colts, he is definitely our number two guy. Campbell's not doing anything anywhere near the amount of work that uh our rookie's putting in. And I can't think of his name right now because I'm irritated. But I, I don't get it. I I, I, just, I just don't get it. I, it's it's got to be the calls that are made made on the field. Pierce. He did really good today. He's he made some crazy catch. He made at least one crazy catch that he was blanketed. And he still made the catch. Our offense did have a few good drives, but at a standstill. Our offensive line, you got to think. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say our offensive line is doing bad. The average quarterback in the NFL, the average quarterback, the average team, gets right around two and a half to three and a half seconds for their quarterback to throw the ball. For the most part, Today, I think for the most part, not not every not every time down the field, but for the most part, I think Matt had at least three, maybe four seconds from time to time, but mostly three. And he did get some rushes that that they get to him. They did, 
but he was he got nine fumbles this year so far he's averaging over two fumbles a game I just I don't get it where is this team falling apart why is it falling apart we uh we finally get you know uh Shaquille Leonard back and our own our own team gives him with a concussion I don't know. Defense did show up in the second half. Uh, Henry didn't get very many yards in the second half. They both came in the first half. I think he had 99 at halftime. I think he ended up with 120. So defense did a hell of a job in the second half. But in, in, the, but in the coverage, though, there at the end, Henry coming out to the flat and nobody, nobody's there to cover him at all. It was a free run for a first down. I just don't understand this. I watched this game, the entire game. I'm like, where is the team that we're supposed to have? Where's all these players that's supposed to be stepping up that's not stepping up? I, I, I'm not getting it. I'm not. I'm not. It's either the lack of the, of the plays that we're able to run or it's the play calling. The players are there. I know they're there. I see it. I watch it live. They're there. It's just nothing. It's just not getting put together. And tight ends are huge for us. Huge. I I don't understand. We ran two tight ends almost the entire year last year. But yes, there we don't have the exact same tight end setup as we did last year, but we ran two tight ends last year, and we were getting people open. Today, he was hitting tight ends. I think he hit 11, the tight ends 11 times for 160-some yards. I don't know. I don't know. It's irritating to watch this team. It is very irritating. I don't want to call for a new coach. Because bouncing from coach to coach is never the answer. But it's been, what, six years, I think? It might be that time. I have gotten to the point where I was thinking today who we could pick up in the draft next year if we got the number one pick. That's how much confidence I have right now in the Colts. I mean, are you serious? How do, how do I, I mean, I was thinking we were going to win our, the AFC South. And then I, I went from that to, shit, I don't even know if we're going to make the playoffs. Playoffs? Are you serious? This is crazy. We had a team that I thought would even be able to be an upset, possible Super Bowl contender. Very, I mean, this, they weren't out of the Super Bowl consideration, at least not in my eyes, until, holy shit, <laughs> was I blinded. I am riding this train until the, wheel, until the wheels fall off because I'm a Colts fan through and through. Man, we have got to get this turned around. I'm sick and I am tired of being hyped up about the players we have and don't go anywhere with them. What the, what the hell's going on? What the hell is going on? Come on, people. I know they were all humans. I get it. Everybody on the other side of that fucking line is the same way. They're all humans. And I know we, and honestly, we beat the Chiefs. Okay? Well, Chiefs help us beat them. And not complaining, but we match up well with the Chiefs. Because they're not a smash mouth football team, they're speed and stunts and good quarterback play our defense is fast 
can keep up from sideline to sideline and can get to the quarterback when they have the same setup as we do as far as the speed. Their offensive line on the Chiefs match up well with our defensive line. So we we were kind of, it was nose to nose. Who wants it more? We match up well with the Chiefs. But man, when it comes to a smash mouth football team we're going against, we struggle. And we're going to keep struggling until the play calling changes or until we get the right people or the right players plugged in. We got too much of one and not enough of the other. Our players just, I mean, and I, I'm telling you right now, Matt was pissed. That last sack, and we went for the field goal. We missed a 51-yard field goal. I'm not going to even complain about the field goal kicker. I'm not going to do it. Why? It's the first one he's missed since we brought him on. He's hit all the rest of them. He's allowed a miss, regardless how important it was. And it wasn't even that important. Because we had to stop him to even get the ball back, go down there and score and win the game. So whether or not he missed really didn't make a difference because we weren't able to stop him. It'd be different if we were able to stop him. We get down there and we score. We go into overtime and lost. Okay, then I would be complaining about that last field goal. I might be complaining a little bit. But that did not make a difference in play. We lost whether he made it or not. But Alec Pierce played well. You know, Paris Campbell was average at best. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. We have decent quarter, uh, re receiver play. We really did. We have better tight end play. We honestly did. And we still lost the game. Three turnovers. Defense didn't show up the second half. Offense couldn't push the ball down the field consistently whatsoever. And we could not stop Derrick Henry in the first half. And the their stunts and stuff they were doing, their, their trick plays, I should say, with Derrick Henry, it was working out perfectly. They were getting him in the flat, past the ball was getting to him. He even dropped the pass. That should have been a first down. I do not know where to go with this team. This is almost worse than Carson Wentz because at least at Carson Wentz when you grew were on the edge of your seat and you didn't know if it was going this way on this side or going this way on this side. You did, You never knew how the game was going to turn out when he was the quarterback. And that was the issue. Because he was sloppy play, he was exciting play, and he was either win or just get busted plays. Right now, the team, as a team, is not coming together. This is not team play. I don't know what this is, but this is not team play. This 1% better every game is BS too. The we'll figure it out and da 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 da. I want Frank Wright to come out and say, you know what, we got our asses handed to us. Do we know why? We'll watch the tape. And yes, I do already know, or no, I don't. We need some realization somewhere. Somebody needs to come out and say, this is my fault, or this is, I know where, I, I know where to you know go to fix this problem i know we can fix this problem because this is the problem we're not getting that and as a fan it sucks you know as a coach and player i'm sure it sucks especially if you want to win but for a team that has the highest paid offensive line in the NFL, we are not doing crap with that high paid dollar offensive line. We're just not. 
Now, I personally think Shaquille Leonard was not, should not have been there. They were playing on only on certain plays. He wasn't out there as much as we are used to him being out there whatsoever. Um, he just, he shouldn't have been out there anyway, it's my opinion. And for him to sit out for concussion protocol and uh, getting everything taken care of, I personally, is not, I don't think it's a bad thing. Uh, you know, at least we'll get, you know, at least, at least he'll have more time to get squared away with his injury when he's getting squared away with his concussion protocol. I, I don't get it. But I'm sure I'm not the only one wanting to be out there. Um, we definitely need some more plays. I'm not talking trick plays either. I'm talking, we come at you, we're going to win. Because we got the plays to win with. So, but if you're wanting to vent, please comment. Subscribe if you want to hear more content from me. I do not post all the time. I post from time to time. And hopefully it's stuff that you want to listen to and interested in. But man, I hope, certainly hope you had a better day than I did because I got up at noon to watch that game. I work nights. I normally don't get up till three. I had to be out the door by four to get to work on time. And I don't get off until six o'clock in the morning. Sometimes not until 10 in the morning. And then I come home and I, I slept three hours to get up and watch them lose like that. Jeez. Waste it's a waste of my time. I should have just recorded that and then bitched about it later. Oh my goodness! All right, anyway, anyway, I am ranting. Um, but yeah, by all means, like, subscribe, and comment. Have a good day.